A gay blackmail scandal is swirling around a conservative Washington state representative who denies having sex with men. Carol Costello is watching this story unfold for us, uh, allegedly involving blackmail, among other things. What's going on? Oh, well, this is such an ugly story. You know, one, the log cabin Republicans, a group that represents gay Americans, call another shameful example of the effects of life lived in the closet. It has been a truly scandalous few months for the GOP. For the third time in three months, a Republican lawmaker is accused of soliciting gay sex. This time, it's Washington State Representative Richard Curtis, whose defense sounds a lot like Florida State Representative Bob Allen's and Idaho Senator Larry Craig's. I am not gay. Craig pled guilty to disorderly conduct and then tried to change his plea. As for Curtis, he told the Columbia newspaper he did not have sex with the man and is not gay. But here's what Spokane police told me. On October 26, Representative Curtis, dressed in women's lingerie, picked up a young man in the Hollywood erotic boutique. The rest of the story is contained in a graphic 50-page police document. The young man alleges Curtis offered him $1,000 for unprotected sex at a nearby hotel. And he says, at the conclusion of the sexual activity, Curtis fell asleep. Police say Curtis's sex partner, Cody Castagna, then took his wallet in order to extort money from the representative and threatened to publicly expose Richard Curtis's gay lifestyle to his wife. At that point, police say Curtis called on an officer to investigate. Police say Curtis hoped the incident would go away once police nabbed a suspect. Instead, the media got wind of the case and they found Curtis's alleged sex partner, who promptly went public with his attorney. I'm freaked out, you know. He gave me his wallet. Why did he give you his wallet? As collateral. For? The money that he promised me. It is a particularly ugly drama unfolding around yet another conservative Republican lawmaker. Like Florida State Representative Bob Allen, who has pled not guilty to a charge of soliciting gay sex in July, and Senator Larry Craig, Curtis is married with children and votes conservatively, voting against a domestic partnership bill and a bill that would have outlawed discrimination based on sexual orientation. And just about 40 minutes ago, I received an email from Representative Curtis. He has resigned his office saying, quote, events that have recently come to light have hurt a lot of people. I sincerely apologize for any pain my actions may have caused. This has been damaging to my family, and I don't want to subject them to any additional pain that might result from carrying out this matter under the scrutiny that comes with holding public office. And I must say that I got an email from a lot of representatives out in Washington State, and um, it seems he was pressured also to resign. What a story. All right. Thanks very much, Carol Costello, reporting.